Well, this is very spur of the moment, much like all of my filming. But we are actually by my childhood church. It's this little thing here. It can't be how small it looks. Um, before we film that, I just really want to have a look at these gravestones. Because there's only two here. So, there's a few names on them though. It's really cold. Magistrates. Oh, I'm going to end up climbing over these. I'll zoom in. It's maybe not as um, tacky as climbing over them. Oh, oh, good boy, Ben. Just something just caught my eye though. It's these swastika like things here. I'm not saying they are swastikas, because clearly they're not. <laughs> just saying they look a bit like them though. Oh, we need to look at it from the top. Oh, well, we'll look at this first. It's not picking up though. Sacred to the memory of John Clapham, magistrate of the borough of Leeds, who died November the 5th, 1861, aged 82 years, and lieth here interred. Oh, I'm going to have to climb over because I want to read it properly. <coughs> so it says, God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Also to the memory of his two wives. How has he got two wives, I wonder? <laughs> I'm sure it's all perfectly innocent. Yes, it is. Let's see. Martha Nay Peel, who died June 24th, 1808, aged 30. And Honor Nay Ed Dennis, who died December 31st, 1826, aged 41 years. She must have been quite young, the second wife, when he married her then. Near to his grandfather, sleeper, Frederick, youngest son of John Peel and Mary Ann Clapham, formerly of Burley. He died May 14th, 19, 1855, aged nine years. Jesus is my saviour. Also, Mary Wilhelm. Sorry, I said that wrong. <coughs> ben, 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 don't, don't jump up, little one. I, just, I want to be in shock. Mary Wilhelmina Brodie, wife of William Henry Clapham, born July 1st, 1852. I know that whistle. Where is it coming from? That is my old next door neighbour and his wife used to take me to church. I can hear whistling. Walking up there. I'm going to zoom in like a spy. There he is. That's Mr. Ken. I think it was because the whistle was his. Okay. So anyway, that's not a very exciting gravestone. This was my Sunday school. Good boy, Ben. This was my Sunday school. This, I'm not, I, I cannot express how much it stinks of fish and chips here. There's a fish and chip shop just kind of like there. It smells absolutely stinks. Ben! Good boy. Anyway, this is my old Sunday school. This is where me being a little bit of a know-it-all who thought she knew everything um, used to, oh god, this is so embarrassing, but anyway, <coughs> basically, I used to say stuff like, hang on a moment, look, Salem Church Hall, I know I never mentioned it, I, my church is called the Salem Church, or it was, let's get off Zoom, there we are, oh, it's really weird being here, and like looking at it all like this. 1876. 80 people. Ben! Good boy. Sorry, what are you? So, it's not really that exciting. There's no like crosses. You wouldn't really know it was um, a Sunday school, would you? Nothing like dead telling or anything. Which I'm quite happy about. I mean, I'm very glad to see that there's 
no like obvious Knights of Malta or Jesuit type things going on. <laughs> it's just the name I always find a little bit off-putting. Why would you call a church the Salem? Well, anyhow, let's go have a look at the church. This is actually Burley and Wharfdale Park. There's some quite quirky things here that we can have a peek at whilst we're in here. Oh, it's getting dark really quickly. I want to show you the roundhouse. It's so tiny, but it looked so big when I was a kid. You can see it ahead of us in between the two buildings. It's got a big Christmas star on top of it. I always used to, uh, hang on a moment. I always used to be the angel in the church. Chris not just church actually, I used to be the angel uh, at church and at school. It was really, really funny because I was always the angel Gabriel and um, there was two twins I used to go to school with and they always had to be my like, uh, the angels, <laughs> don't want to say beneath me, but they were like my helping angels. I was the angel Gabriel and they were my helpers. So. This is where it all happened. Look at the lights. That's the uh, Burley like um, town hall. And here's the little round house. We won't be here for much longer because it's getting dark. But they have like little coffee mornings and stuff in there. And little like, yeah, stuff like that. And here's my old church. Should we see if we can get in? I don't think we'll be able to get in there. There's not any crosses on it anywhere. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Don't think I've ever noticed a church before with no crosses. I'm going to have to go in this place sometime. And see. Anyway, that's uh, one of the local pubs. That's just some random person's car just dumped there. Nothing to do with me. Ben. Good boy. Let's see what it says on the front. It sometimes has some cool ones on here. <clears throat> Life is like a coin. You can spend it as you wish, but only once. Ooh. Why is that angel sticking at um Ben? Come here, little one. Where's that angel coming from? It must be coming from behind me. It is, it's right behind me. Alright, so it's called now, its official name is. The United Reformed Church. What does that even mean, I wonder? Because it means nothing to me. Burley and Wharfdale, church, Sunday services, church hall, blah de blah, blah Everyone welcome. Hey, look at that for a name. M. Moxon. Hey, look at that for a, a breakdown. Mox Fam. Oh, Salem Church. Do you know, I hate to say it, especially because it was my childhood church, but I just get such an overwhelming feel of... It's just the name, I'm sure. But it just makes me think of witchcraft. It's terrible. Especially like... Look. Look at this. So only recently it stopped getting called the Salem as its like proper name. Look, that's really old. I don't know. I just find it a little bit weird. But I find everything weird, so you know what's what's new there. Look, they look like coat of arms things, don't they? And then I suppose if you're gonna get all Masonic on it, then you've got your uh, pyramidy thing here, and then you've got your uh, I can't even think what you call them right this second now. But I'm sure people know what I mean. Your, um, yeah, your number 11s, but it's just I can't think of the right terminology. Your two towers. Oh, yeah, and there's this little doorway here. That's always been there, obviously. But, let's break in. Oh, God, that scared me. Someone will come and tell me off. <laughs> Actually, I've just realised um, the buildings to the right of this what was my Sunday school that's new even though it looks really old now 
And that's the park behind it. It's like a children's park. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's sack this off. I'll just show you this nice building here before we go. Um, which is like, well, it's a nursery now, but it used to be like the village hall thing. Ben, do not run across that road. Do not run across that road. So anyhow, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? There's the fish and chip shop I was going on about. So there we are. That's the job done. Good boy, come on. He's a good boy, isn't he? Go on then, little one. Well, we're going to go. So, yeah, it's definitely getting dark. What a shame. Let's just have a quick peek at this in its glory. There we go. So there it is, my childhood church. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Until the next time. This will just this will be really quick to upload, which is like great. So we're gonna go on a proper walk though now, so bye. Ah says so dropping the camera. Toodle pip.